Okay, this is question seven, paper one. It's a complex numbers question. And it says complex numbers are used to describe the size and position of animated fictional characters and objects in computer games. In one interactive simulation game, the main character needs to change size and position in different ways. So there he is there. You can kind of see he's got one plus five i. So part A says by evaluating the following transformations to the complex number z is equal to one plus five i, where i squared is equal to minus one. Describe what happens to the fictional character in each case. You may assume that every point in the character undergoes the same transformation as z. The first one is done for you. Okay? So let's have a look. First one is saying to find minus z. Okay? So minus z is going to be the original number multiplied by minus one. Alright, so it's going to be minus uh, 1 multiplied by 1 plus 5i, which is going to be minus 1 minus 5i. Alright, so first one here, minus 1 minus 5i. And then this one is z multiplied by i, so that's i multiplied by uh, 1 plus 5i. Alright, so 1 times i gives me i, and i times 5i gives me plus 5i squared, but i squared is equal to minus 1, so it's i plus 5 multiplied by minus 1. So in other words, it's going to be i minus 5, okay? All right, so let's have a look then. So that's going to be our minus 5 plus i, all right? So let's have a look what's actually happening to our character, okay? It was perfectly okay to draw the character to see what happens. So minus 1 is here, and minus 5i is here. So our character was going to get kind of sent this way, all right? Approximately, okay? All right, and what happens to him there is he has been translated under a central symmetry through the origin. So look, he was there, translated under central symmetry, okay? So translated across the origin, okay? And then it says uh, minus 5 plus i. Well, let's have a look. Minus 5 is here, plus i is going to be here. So our character is kind of going to be lying sideways, all right? So he's actually rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So rotates 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Okay. Right, there, that part B says to show the outline of the fictional character under each of the transformations of the final part A on the Argan diagram above. So really I should have drawn these guys a little bit more accurately, okay? But uh, I didn't actually do the 4 plus 5i, so 4 is here, plus 5i is up here, so our character has shifted 3 units to the right, as they said to us. So this is going to be like this, and like that. Right, so apologies, let's go through this again, because I messed up basically. Um, so I should have drawn these guys a little bit more accurately, and this is the guy for 4 plus 5i, 4 plus 5i, he shifted 1, 2, 3 units to the right, okay? So the next part says, some transformations require the examination of more than one point on the fictional character. By considering Z and another point, describe what happens to the character under each of the following transformations. says Z4 is equal to 3Z, so Z4 is equal to 3 multiplied by Z, which is 1 plus 5i, okay, which is going to equal 3 plus 15i, okay, Z5 is equal to the... Um, conjugate of z, which is where you change the sign of the imaginary number, so it's 1 minus 5i, that one's fairly straightforward, and z6 is equal to 2 plus 2i times z, so it's 2 plus 2i multiplied by 1 plus 5i. So 2 times 2, or sorry, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 5i is 10i, 2 times, or 2i times 1 is plus 2i, and 2i times 5i is going to be plus 10i squared. Now remember, i squared changed to a minus 1. So you get 2 plus 12i uh, minus 10, and you get minus 8 plus 12i. Okay, so that's what you're going to fill in for the evaluation. So this one was 3 plus 15i, this was 1 minus 5i, and this one was minus 8 plus 12i. Okay. So for this part here where you had to pick a second point, you needed to pick a second point uh, from the character. So uh, let's take this one here, 2, 0. So 2 plus 0, i. And if I evaluate it the same way, multiply by 3, I get 6 plus 0, i. And the explanation is uh, character enlarged. Uh, 
by factor of 3. Okay, so in fact, uh, when you multiply by 3, you enlarge the character by a factor of 3. Okay, so the next one then, I'm going to pick 1 plus 3i. So 1 plus 3i, which is going to be here. Okay, so that's another point on the character. So apply the same thing, I get 1 minus 3i. All right, and axial symmetry in the real axis. So you get axial symmetry on uh, the real, this guy here. Okay, so basically he gets flipped down here. All right, so symmetry across the x-axis, symmetry, sorry, not x-axis, symmetry across real axis. Okay, and then the last one says uh, take 0 plus 0i, which is here the origin, 0 plus 0i, and when you apply the same thing, you get 0 plus 0i. So obviously our character is going to stay, or part of this part of the character is still going to be involved. And what you find is it's rotated and enlarged, right? So rotates anti-clockwise and enlarges. And this makes sense because you're multiplying by an imaginary number and you're multiplying by a real number, okay? Part D says, using the fictional character from part A, describe in your own words how the character is transformed to the position and size shown in the diagram. So knowing your transformation here is very, very important, okay? So a few things happen to our character. He's going to, he gets, seems to rotate to uh, the right or clockwise. He seems to be enlarged by a factor of 2 or 3, all right? Factor of 2. And he also goes up 6 units, all right? So what you need to do here is explain in your own words what has to happen, right? So he needs to rotate, so first, rotate by 90, rotate clockwise by 90 degrees, okay? Second thing is that he actually is going to move up, or he's going to enlarge, sorry, enlarge by factor of 2. And if you want to know where I'm getting factor of 2 from, well, if you look, there's a gap of 2 between his legs here, and all of a sudden there's a gap of 4, so the gap has multiplied by 2. So that's how I know it enlarges. Enlarged factor by 2. And then the last thing is that he actually moves up 6 places. So if you look at where the um, the feet are, they actually move up 6. So it starts here and moves up here. Okay, So it moves by a number of 6. So uh, 3 moves up by 6. Moves up by 6. Okay. Part E is asking for you to write down in mathematical terms what you would have to do. So you can pick any point on our character and explain how it goes. So say you took this point, explain how it gets up here, okay, and how it how the whole enlargement thing happens. Well, we'll go 1 plus 5i, right? So 1 plus 5i, and the first thing to do is to rotate any complex number by, um, by 90 degrees clockwise, you need to multiply it by a negative imaginary number, okay? And you get minus i minus 5i squared, Okay, and that works out to be plus 5 minus i, so plus 5, which is here, minus i, which is down here, okay? And then we need to enlarge by a factor of 2, so that's just multiplying it by 2, so you take this and multiply it by 2, and you get 10 minus 2i, okay? So 10 minus 2i, so now he's down here. And finally then, we need to move them up. We need to get shifted up six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you just add six i to that. So it's 10 minus two i plus six i. And you end up with, that's equal to 10 plus four i. And there it is, 10 plus four i. Okay, and that was the complex numbers question.